Hello everyone and welcome to CAD CAM C tutorials. In this video we will create a 3D model that you can see on the screen right now. So let's begin it. So let us first create a new part. So we will go to the file, new and select part. Okay. Now let us first create a background plan white. Now here we can see typical dimensions of this 3D model. So here we can see that first we'll start with the base of the model where the length is of 90 mm and width is of 80 mm. So we'll again go to the SOLIDWORKS, we'll go to the sketch and select here top plane for sketching. Now we'll first create a rectangle using the center rectangle. So we'll select here center rectangle and create a rectangle like this. After creating a rectangle, we will go to the smart dimension. The length of the rectangle is of 90 mm and the width is of 80 mm. After creating a rectangle with the length of 90 width of 80, we will exit the smart dimension. Now from the sketch we can see that we need to create a semicircle with the diameter of 40 mm that is 80 minus 20 minus 20. So again we will go to the SOLIDWORKS, we will select here the circle, while creating a circle make sure that the center of the circle coincides with the mid plane of the line or midpoint of the line. So we will create a circle like this, again we will go to the smart dimension and here the diameter of the circle will be 40 mm, enter here 40. Now we will exit the smart dimension. Now we will remove unwanted portion, so we will select here trim entities and we will trim out unwanted portion of the circle as well as line and we will close the trim. Now here we can see that the sketch is not fully defined. In order to make it fully defined select here the center point of circle and select here this point and select here vertical constraint and ok. Again we will select here the center point of the circle, press ctrl select here the center of the rectangle and select here horizontal constraint and ok. Now here we can see that the sketch is fully defined. So we will exit the sketch, we will go to the features and select here extruded boss feature. Now from the sketch we can see that the height of the base is of 20 mm. So here we will enter as a 20 mm and ok. After creating the base of the part, we will create the top portion of the part and for that let us first create this portion, this L portion and for that here we can see that the width or let's say thickness of the vertical portion is of 20 mm and the thickness of this horizontal portion it will be 60 minus 50. So again we will go to the SOLIDWORKS and we will go for the sketch. Now before going to the sketch here we can say that this wall is at a distance of 90 minus 60 that is 30 mm from this wall. So first we need to create a plane at a distance of 30 mm from this face and then we can create a sketch. So we will go to the SOLIDWORKS, we will go to the features and select here the reference geometry and plane. Now we need to create a plane from this face at a distance of 30 mm. So select this face as a reference. Now we need to create a plane on another side of this face. So we will select here flip offset and at a distance of 30 mm and ok. After creating this plane we will go for the sketch and we will select that plane as a sketching plane and select normal. Now here we need to create that L portion. For that we will be using the line. So select here line. We will start from this corner. So we will first create a vertical line then a horizontal segment, again a vertical segment and a horizontal segment up to here. 
then here we'll select the corner point and then we'll close the L shape after creating this L shape select here this line and give it a vertical constraint after creating this portion we need to give it the dimensions so here we can see that this vertical one will be 50 plus 10 that will be 60 so this is 60 and here thickness is 20 and 10 so we'll go to the smart dimension now here this height is of 60 mm this will be of 20 mm and this height will be of 10 mm now we'll exit the smart dimension and we'll exit the sketch now we'll go to the features and select here extruded boss feature now we want to extrude it on the another side of the sketching plane so we'll select here reverse the direction and from this drop down we'll select here up to the surface and we'll select this surface as a stopping plane or stopping surface and ok now after creating this L portion we need to create a cut that we can see over here because this surface is not a slant face so we need to create a cut now for this cut we first need to create a plan and for that let's go to the solidworks and we'll go for the sketch and we'll select here this face normal now here we need to create a sketch and for that we'll select here the line select here this point and then select here this corner point and create a close sketch like this make it horizontal now after completing this sketch we'll exit the sketch we'll go to the features and select here extrude cut feature and from this drop down we'll select here through all both and ok now here we can see that we have created this slant portion now after creating this slant portion the main challenge is to create here this tetrahedron and that's an interesting part so for that let us again go to the solidworks we'll go to the sketch and we'll select here this surface for sketching select here normal now here basically we'll create a sketch and for that from here we can see that the total length basically this length will be of 60 minus 40 so that will be 20 so here first we'll create a line of 20 mm and we'll make a slant line and this point will be at a distance of 20 mm so we'll go to the solidworks we'll select here the line we'll start from this point we'll create one vertical line then a horizontal line then we'll create a slant line and one horizontal line now we know that the both the distances are of 20 mm from the respective faces so again we'll go to the smart dimension the distance of this point from this line is of 20 mm and the distance of this line is of 20 mm now here we can see that the sketch is fully defined so we'll exit the sketch now this is the first sketch we need to create a second sketch and that is nothing but a point so we need to create a point at the vertex over here and for that we'll select here the point then we can select here any of the face that is a part of the vertex so we'll select here this face and then we can select here the vertex and ok so now here we are having two parts or let's say we are having basically two sketches so this is the first sketch and the second sketch is nothing but a point so we'll exit the sketch now we'll go to the features and we'll select here lofted boss feature after selecting the lofted boss feature basically it has selected this point 
as a first profile or let's say we'll delete it so it will be a blank now first we can select number of profiles so here in our case we are having only two profile so this is the first profile and the point is our second profile once you select both the profiles you can see the preview of the lofted boss feature and we can just click on ok so here we can see that we have created a 3d part we can right click on the plan and we can hide it and we can give it appearance so select here entire part and we'll select here the appearance and we can select any of the color okay i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then please hit on the like button and subscribe to this channel catcam ce tutorials thanks